Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're out here in some boondocking land. It's called uh, Havasu Heights. We're off 95. We're about, oh good, probably about 8, 10 miles north of uh, Lake Havasu, heading up to I-40. Anyway, I thought I'd stop. We're going to do a little test today. Jackery, they sent me this brand new Explorer 1500. Look at this bad boy. 1488 watt hours, 1800 watt peak, pure sign. I'll tell you what, this thing's a powerhouse. I've been testing it for a couple weeks. I got two 100 watt solar panels. They're Jackery uh, Solar Saga 100s. And one nice thing, check this thing out. Two panels hooks into one port. So what you can do, you can actually hook four panels to this battery. You can hook up four 100 watt panels to this 1500. Let's check the display. Hopefully you can see that. We're throwing in there about 183 watts. Panels are doing pretty good. We got good sunshine. Half hour till it gets full. We're drawing nothing. Right now, I don't have anything hooked to it. So, what are we gonna hook? How about the whole van? <laughs> Why not, huh? I set this up in here. Here's the van. Yay. Got the laptop, the flat screen, electric skillet and a fan let's just see how much this uh, Jackery 1500 with them two panels can uh, hold now what I did do this van has 400 watts of solar I turned it off solar panels are not feeding these back actually we're gonna bypass my whole solar system in here I'll show you that in the back but we're not feeding off the van at all everything will be powered up by uh, the Jackery. We're going to feed 110 volts in here. That plug down there will be live and this one down here will be live too. You'll see it. All right let's get this thing fired up. Okay first thing I'm going to do let me show you the panel. Okay I got the inverter off under here. There's the 3000 watt inverter. Everything's turned off down here, except we'll be able to feed 110 volts. The van's set up to receive short power. So this 15 amp breaker will stay off because that feeds uh, voltage back to the batteries, that, that, the house batteries. Basically these two are going to stay on. That's the main, which is the 30 amp coming in. And this 20 amp feeds all the plugs the 110 plugs that'll be live for the test so in saying that let's try it I haven't tried it yet let's turn this bad boy on okay it's on The whole van is now plugged into this thing. We're drawing wattage. Something's on in the van. Okay. So, we still have 120 watts coming in from the solar panels. And the van right now is drawing uh, 62. We'll see what's on. Probably the laptop power supply. Yep. So you can see the Jackery, see the light down there? You can see the Jackery is feeding power. Nothing else is turned on in here. Absolutely nothing. So our first test. This fan, this Vornado, it's 110 volt. Ooh. 
it's moving so right now we got the fan on and that power supply feeding the laptops hot so those are the two things that are powered up in here right now let's go check our battery still got 120 going in 40 watt 41 watts going out so we're producing more power than what we're using okay next on the list let's fire up the laptop and this flat screen up here is 110 volt nothing that we're running right now is 12 volt everything's uh, feeding off 110 volt off that jackery battery Okay. Voila. Okay. Will the flat screen kick on? Will it? Yay! <laughs> Look at that. All right. Now, the power supply to the laptop feeding off the Jackery. Flat screen and our Ver Vernado fan. So right now we're feeding these three appliances off the Jackery battery. And you can see we boosted up 135 watts drawn. Still got 120 going in. So we're almost breaking even on the power coming in and going out. This thing's an animal. Look at this. I mean, Explorer 1500. Now here's the 110 power supply to charge it. And they also come with a 12 volt. So there's multiple ways to charge these things up. Actually, when I travel, I just hook the 12 volt up to the existing solar system, let this thing charge while I'm driving down the road. Well, you can see 120 going in and 132 going out. So we're almost breaking even with. Laptop, flat screen, and fan. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Let's turn on the electric skillet for a minute, see what happens. See how much draw we do. Okay, for the test, I just ran this off an extension cord hooked to the 110 volt. Alright, so, let's check her out. Skillet is on. Oh yeah, it's already heating. So there's an electric skillet, Vernado fan, flat screen, monitor, laptop. It's all cooking right now off that battery. Alright, let's see what the battery says. Okay, we're pulling 1100 watts of that uh, electric skillet. 120 going in. So the battery's handling it. We're actually pulling 1100 watts off this thing. And it shows the battery would have 1.2 hours left of life pulling that kind of wattage, even though we're pumping it in. So, not bad. It's just a battery. A really good one. <laughs> Jackery Explorer 1500. Look at this thing. What a setup. So, if I hook two more Jackery panels, which this thing will handle, 400 watts going in, I can actually cook, work on the laptop, watch the flat screen, and have fans going. Isn't that something? I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm in very, very impressed. But wait, there's more. You can actually add cell phone charging I can charge my camera batteries look at this so check it out I can charge up here's the controller one of the controllers for the drone we can switch it over charging the phone so you can charge your devices cook your meal 
work on the computer with the flat screen with a fan going off of Jackery 1500. You know what? Let's go to their website and check it out. Here's their website, jackery.com. Uh, spring's their big launch at time for all their new products. Where is it? Over here. Here we go. The Jackery Explorer Portable Power Station 1500. They got an early bird discount special going. Available on April 5th. Free shipping, all that. But look at this thing. And you know, it wasn't that, it's not that heavy. You'd think something like that's heavy, but it's really not. And that was surprising to me. But look at this mini cooler, blender, coffee maker, pressure cook, electric grill. You've seen the skillet hooked up. And when I had it running with all the other appliances going, it still showed it had 1.2 hours for the battery would have discharged. Fast recharging up to 80% in two hours. And here's with all the, look, she has uh, four panels hooked to it. You couldn't tell in the sun, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> Input, output. It's got all the USB ports over here. One 12 volt. There's your dual input for the solar then the three uh, 110 plugs there's a little bit of their data that they're giving you here's all the readouts on the LCD screen well built I'll tell you this thing <laughs> it shocked me and to be a part of a beta like that that was cool that was really neat you know you get review stuff but normally they don't let you participate in the actual testing of it we actually got to test it and give our input. And here's some pictures, RVs. Yep, you bet. Look at this guy with a power outage cooking in his house. Out in the cabin, there's four panels hooked up to it. Four panels here. Look at that. Isn't that a nice setup? And you don't have the generator and the gas cans and all that. You know, it, power outages... All the fires and tornadoes and ice storms. Handy little gadget to have around. One thing uh, Jackery does, they make pretty good ones. What a fun test this has been. I've been playing with this thing, you know, uh, about a week ago in the evening I was running the flat screen and my laptop off the battery for almost five hours and it did not run out at all. It still had about fi over 50% of battery left. And that was close to five hours. Flat screen and the laptop. So if you're looking for just a portable setup without hard mountain panels and all that and batteries, and this is it right here. Jackery 1500. All right, once again, I want to thank them for sending this to me. It was fun being part of their beta program. Check them out.